Hi, my name is Derek and welcome to Spinetics tutorial on how to create 360 by 180 degree spherical panoramas uh, compatible with Spinetic. Uh, this is part three of the tutorial series. Uh, in part three we're going to actually uh, adjust a few settings in the camera and on the pano head and photograph the 360 uh, pano. And uh, in the first two parts of the tutorial we uh, went over the essential pieces of gear and then in the second part we assembled the gear um, so we're uh, ready to shoot okay so the first thing that we want to go over is that when you choose your location and you get your tripod set up and ready to go the first thing that you want to do is you want to level the camera rig uh, this is very important so the best way to do this is there's a little bubble level Probably on your tripod too, but uh, I always go by the one on the the R1 panel head. So uh, you can't see it from there, but I can see it right here, and that's uh, pretty much pretty level right there. All right. So the next part to address is on the panel head itself. Uh, the first thing that you should pay attention to is the angle of the the camera. Uh, so it's uh, controlled by this knob right here, and I'm not sure if you can see, but there's actually um, there's little numbers in there that tells you what degree that you're 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 at. So um, this just levels the camera like this. Uh, so we want to make sure that the top uh, circle is set to zero, and if you have another panel head, you want to make sure that you're just level with the ground, uh, as far as the lens is concerned. So that's the first thing to check, make sure it's uh, snug. Th the second thing to check is, I'm actually going to move this around, uh, is this knob right here, the smaller knob. You'll see that there are choices on this panel head uh, for 120 degrees, 90, 60, and 36 and 10. You want to make sure that you're on 90 degrees, and to change it you just unscrew it and put it in the appropriate one making sure that you're locked in uh, there's certain places where it locks or there's certain rotations where it locks in uh, so we want to be set to 90 on this and that will give us uh, clicks for uh, four angles around the 360 so I'm ready to go there also, I'm going to put this to zero right there. So um, the next thing to look over is the rail um, for finding the no parallax point. Uh, for this rig and setup that we recommend with the this lens, the eight, the Sigma eight millimeter lens, and the uh, R1, No Ninja R1, we want this to be set at. 2.225 uh, that gives us the correct uh, no parallax point point. Uh, and in order to uh, adjust that you just loosen up this knob right here you find the 2.225 and you lock it in by by um, by tightening the knob okay that just leaves us with our camera settings uh, you just want to check over your settings make sure you're at the correct ISO um, you want to make sure that you are between f8 and f11 and that's pretty universal for most camera setup, uh, setups. You also want to make sure that you are not on automatic white balance because uh, that's going to change the, the white balance for each shot around. Remember we got to do four shots for the entire scene. Um, and metering. Uh, when you take your meter uh, reading for uh, the shutter speed, you want to make sure it's an average of the entire scene. So what I usually do is I just pick uh, something in the scene that I feel has the average amount of light. You don't want to stick the camera obviously at uh, a light source and you don't want to stick it in a dark corner either and, and uh, read the meter. So in this case actually this wall is looks most average in this scene, so I'm just going to take the reading over here. Uh, 
Actually, uh, I'm going to turn the camera on first. And I see that, actually this is right on, I'm at F8, my white balance is set, and here we go. Okay, I'm just going to move 90 degrees. Okay. Move another 90 degrees. And another. And I'm all set. Alright, so now we have the images and the camera, and we're ready to go to part four. So thanks for watching part three. Uh, in part four, we're going to uh, actually process the images that we just took, we're going to stitch them, and after that we'll be ready to upload to Spinatic. So thanks for watching, and if you haven't already, subscribe to our channel and check out uh, Spinatic.com.